Hey, what's up? Matt Wyatt here. Shortest intro ever for the Egg Bowl because I got a ton of highlights to get to, so let's just start. Early in the game, Jeffrey Simmons is going to make a play, get through, knock the ball out, and recovered by a teammate. You go back and take a look at how that started. The center is going to block back here, and so the guard has the job of blocking the nose, which is Simmons right there in the middle. And so it's a pretty good design. Right tackle is going to pull uh, sorry, right guard is going to pull back over to the left, and that kind of influences that linebacker to run him away from where the run is intended to go. So pretty good design. But when Simmons steps through, um, you don't block him. He's free to the QB, and he's the one that makes the play. The other thing to look at, because it's man-to-man, tight man-to-man coverage in the boundary right there, even if Simmons doesn't get there and the quarterback gets here, you're going to have a corner who's got a great chance to come up and make the play. But here, knock the ball out, and it's a good heads-up recovery from Willie Gay. Instinctual deal here. Put your hand on the football. Two-man route, wide side of the field on third and 10. Slot receiver running the deep out. Got a clear on the outside. Got pressure, but makes a strong throw. First of all, take a look at what's happening. Is They give you a... Uh, essentially a four-man front, a couple of linebackers that are walked up. And they're going to do what LSU did, and that is bring linebackers, two of them, but then drop two ends into the zone to replace them, so you're still only rushing four. Key right here in protection is the back kind of whiffs on the linebacker, and that's who pressures the QB. And this is what you want to see from your quarterback is eyes downfield reading the route even though he's about to get hit. Stand in there and make the throw. They're going to read the end, uh, RPO to the tight end side. Gets a give read, get a cut back. Now he's free to the end zone. A couple of things to look at right here. Pre-snap read with a three down lineman and then two essentially lined up over the tight end. That's a pre-snap indicator to the quarterback that it's definitely going to be give. But he's still got to read that unblock to see if he flies down inside. He still may pull it because now you're going to RPO off of that defender. You would either keep and run or have a tight end in a route somewhere. Here, the give is the right move. Quarterback really pays for it, but it's the right read. And then even though it's completely blocked up over here on the play side, this is just instinctual cutback to see and feel. I got open field, makes a cutback. Now he's one-on-one to the goal line, and that's a mismatch for the running back. Quick toss, coming to the wide side of the field. Crack back, pull the tackle, but defense too fast. Here's how that play happens. They're going to bring the number two receiver down and crack back on the defensive end to seal the edge and get him to the, the edge initially. But with this action, tackle pulling, you got people going to pursue right away. But the corner, who's in the middle all of it, is going to get away from his receiver and fly uphill, make the play, no gain. It's a zone give backside all the way, and you seal the edge really nicely and block it up, get a pancake on the edge, and receiver's blocking downfield, big play. A couple things to look at. First of all, you look on alignment because you've bunched this line of scrimmage, which State did a bunch this year with four wides. You get an inside alignment on the end, and then the next guy to the edge is all the way back here four yards off the ball. So that's going to help. The other thing you're counting on right here is your center, Jenkins, to be able to handle the defensive tackle one-on-one, which he does, so that guard and tackle can combo the end. And now the tackle, 51 Reese, is going to get up on the first man uh, on the edge. So now if you look, can't block it any better. Center right there on the tackle, guard on the end, tackle up on the linebacker, and receiver on the outside is now going to get outside leverage. So everything blocked down, and you're free sailing to get to the edge. Now, keep an eye on 51, the tackle, Stuart Reese. That's Pancake, and then you're still working downfield enough so to get some extra yards. Good team football. Your motion out of empty. Show pass, and then quarterback draw back up the chute. Nice play design and wrinkle. So there you see it. Shows pass. Now hit the ground running, find the end zone. Let's go back and take a quick look here. Uh, watch 
you know, motion is going to pull guys up into the line and kind of make it a little easier, clear it up till you get to the second level. So now it's straight man-to-man coverage. Everybody's got a pre-snap man-to-man responsibility, including on the running back. They've switched that up. And that's why as long as he's got the ball in the backfield, they all have to stay right here and respect the possibility that he could throw the football. Next thing that happens is everybody's blocked up, and it's hard to see, but there's hat on a hat everywhere here, including the left tackle who's going to step up on that lone linebacker defender at the second level in the middle, take care of him, and now there's your lane. Blocked here, blocked there, quarterback gets through it, and he's free to the goal line. Good play design. Big play that led to Ole Miss's field goal, play action slant to the uh, wide side of the field. Stay in there, throw it, make a nice catch. A couple things happen here. Pre-snap, they show him two safeties, but on the snap, they rotate up to man coverage with a free safety in the middle of the field, so it's a good read there. Makes the fake with his eyes on the secondary so he can read it. Inside receiver runs an out route that pulls up the safety. It clears the lane for the slant behind it, and you get it, throw it a little bit behind it, but receiver able to make the play. Big backside run to get a drive going for a half. Key block is the right guard, Deion Calhoun. Clears it up right there. Linebacker gets hung up. Again, get a little bit of a glimpse of how this is able to happen for State on the run play. If you look at the right guard, watch him seal. Get help. Outside rush there from the end, so you push him out. The corner who might have contained gets run off down inside and man-to-man. And even though the backside linebacker does not get blocked, he gets hung up. And that's plenty enough hole to get off on that big run there out to midfield. Very next play, they're going to throw the back shoulder to Stephen Guidry. Quarterback able to stand in there and wait. Protection here, but watch the running back, Eris Williams, look up the outside rush and uh, pop him. Keep your quarterback clean, back shoulder throw. That leaves a first and goal, 30 seconds left, one-on-one route in the slot. Slant guy spins him around, touchdown. So if you take a look here, uh, outside move here to get the DB's momentum going that way. Really nice route. Once his feet are that close together and he's leaning, now you got him. And he's going to burst back to the inside and be wide open. Those three plays, boom, 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 run, pass, pass, right before halftime to make it a three-score game were really a backbreaker because State got the ball to start the third quarter. And even though they didn't score on that first possession, the locker room felt much differently, I think, for both teams because of that drive. Second half, defense gets you going. Gary Green, outside rush versus the tight end, beats him to the quarterback, sack. Very next play, same thing, outside rush, Gary Green. This time the back tries to help, leaves the linebacker, gets your quarterback hit, and throws an interception. So if you look, there's a couple things going on that are interesting. Again, you've just been sacked the play before. You get play action and outside rush, and so watch the running back look back to try to find the end. So now his eyes are looking back here. He wants to help on the end. The other thing is that Braxton Hoyette looks like intentionally to me has uh, stood his ground instead of getting upfield and grabbed that uh, tackle, and it creates a lane for the linebacker coming in here, and that's what busts the protection is the fact that the back steps up to help, but he's squarely focused on the guy who had the sack the play before. Now the middle linebacker free to the QB, hits him in the gut. It means underthrow, and that's what causes the turnover. So you're going to come back and read the unblocked end man on the line of scrimmage. He goes inside for the back. Quarterback pulls it. Now he's got foot race. And he's going to get there to the pylon. So I do believe it is Reed. And with him walked up, what they've got is slant going to the right with the defensive end, trying to stop the run game with the running back. So now he's unblocked. Going to read him. Watch him step or come down in shallow towards the, uh, the back. And that's a really good read, and now he's on the edge. Once he gets there, it's run all the way. His receiver in the end zone, Dedrick Thomas, got his hands up, knows it's going to be TD. At least he thinks he does, and he gets there. Ole Miss's biggest pass play of the game, two-man route, the wide side of the field, a go on the outside, an 
out on the inside. Pump fake gets the corner to bite and get him open. Show what I mean? You can just see the action of the corner, Dantzler, who's a really good player right here, but his eyes are on the quarterback because of his zone coverage. And as soon as he sees a man about to cross his face and a nice pump fake coming at him from the quarterback, watch him jump up and bite it. And now he's open. It's a matter of getting him the ball before the safety can get there. You do. If it's not underthrown, it might have been a bigger play. It's a great play by Smitham in the corner against a deep ball up top. Protection stands up. Running back picks up the linebacker, makes room for his QB to step up. And so now it's deep ball. And watch him out fight him for the football in the air. Receiver gets a hand on it, but DB comes down with it in the end zone. Big play. Simmons at the nose, going to pick up the sack right here. He's one-on-one -on -one against the center. Slaps him with the left, over the top with the right. Swim move, gets there. One thing about this, a four-man rush, and Ole Miss actually has five and a sixth blocker. So it's six protection with the back against a four-man rush. The back steps up to help, but he's helping backside on the left side. And uh, he doesn't get his head around right here. Nice swim move uh, by Simmons and makes the play. State's going to get a big backside zone run, reading the field side defensive end. Give it back side, big hole. And make the first down. I'll show you how to happen. First of all, you look at defensive alignment pre-snap with two receivers, two receivers, so you know four wide, and they're just manning it up across with a safety in the middle of the field. And it helps them kind of balance it formationally pre-snap. But on the snap, not one, but two guys backside rush wide to the outside, kind of run themselves out of it. Don't know if it's design or bust, but two go, and it makes it easy to get that backside open. Next thing that happens is center gets up on the linebacker. Big mismatch right there. And hat on a hat on the outside. And fact is, on the backside of a zone run, you're not going to get a bigger hole than that right there to run through. Get to the next level, make the first down, and then a little bit more. Later come back, get a slant route down to the uh, goal line. We'll play action, pull them up, throw it behind them. This is a good example of what a run game can do to affect the secondary. If you keep an eye on the play side safety. When you've got run fake going on, you've been hurting them with the run game. He now wants to come up and get involved, runs himself out of the secondary. Now he's up, and your route is going to come open right where he vacated. That's the purpose of play action. And that's a really fine catch down there on the one-yard line on a low throw. Hard to do it much better than that on a uh, throw that's zipped. So last thing, uh, State has six guys in the box, three down, three uh, next-level players. And it's against a six-man protection. State's going to get there, get to the QB on third and short. First thing you're going to get is outside rush versus the tackle. Kind of pinch it from the outside, make him step up. Montez Sweat able to do it. Now, again, it's six on six, and the back actually does a nice job thumping the linebacker, and it runs him into the safety. But that's the thing about this defense is the ball's got to come out on time or you got to be a really fast player, or they're going to get free and run you down from about three different directions, and that's what happens here. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And if you did, if you have a question or a comment or other plays, anything like that, just hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I am Radio Wyatt. And then, of course, all the video content, you can find it on YouTube and Facebook. Just look up Matt Wyatt Media. And thanks for Renaissance Bank always sponsoring these videos. They love SEC football. So y'all hit them up and let them know. Tell them I sent you at renaissancenation.com. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.